So yesterday, producer Barbara Broccoli stated in an interview with Deadline that it will be at least two years before the next Bond film goes in production. And the task of finding an actor to replace Daniel Craig hasn't begun yet because it's a reinvention of Bond. I can't say I'm surprised by this statement, but I am somewhat disappointed. Of course, you may say, Come on, man, they've just released No Time to Die last fall. It hasn't been that long. But keep in mind that No Time to Die was already in the bag by late 2019, early 2020. Before COVID, we would have gotten it in April 2020. It seems like they've definitely let a whole lot of time pass since then, not to even start brainstorming or anything. The gap between License to Kill and GoldenEye still holds the record for the longest gap between Bond films. We got close last time with the gap between Spectre and No Time to Die. Now, with the production not even starting until at least 2024, I think the best case scenario and the earliest we can expect a Bond 26 is likely 2025. Seeing how No Time to Die was already finished five years before that, doesn't it seem like they're just wasting a lot of time? I know it takes time to reinvent the character and find a new actor and stuff. I also gave up on the regular schedule of expecting a Bond film every two years long ago, with Quantum of Solace being the final instance that ever happened. I don't see that happening anytime soon, at least not with the current attitude Eon seems to have towards their franchise. Compare this to the Mission Impossible franchise. The last couple of movies were absolute hits, with Tom Cruise really giving it his all, making sure these movies are the best cinema experiences you can get for an action movie. It hurts to say as a Bond fan, but I get why casual audiences are so much more excited to see these movies nowadays. Now they've got Dead Reckoning coming out next year and it's already announced that they're gonna do a follow-up to that shortly after. Eon doesn't seem to be up to speed to even try and compete. Or what about comparing Eon to themselves in the past? Look at the largest gaps between Bond films, for example. The legal problems Eon were going through in the early 90s were the reason the hiatus even happened. But during that time, a third Timothy Dalton movie script was already finished. I did a whole video on what that film would have been like, by the way. But, as I learned from the amazing book The Lost Adventures of James Bond by Mark Adlitz, Eon even had a script for a fourth Timothy Dalton Bond film ready to go as well. It's like Eon has a whole lot less urgency towards their franchise these days. I mean, you would think they would, at the very least, at least have script writers at the ready or people starting a casting process for the next Bond or something. I mean, it is what producers do, right? It's been two years since No Time to Die was finished. It's like they took two years holiday and just decided to take two more before they're even starting to think about what to do next. Obviously, I don't have any inside information and this is all based on what we're hearing and what we're seeing. I don't know for sure, but at least it seems like they had a whole lot more urgency back in the old days compared to nowadays. This year is the big 60 year anniversary. We all wished we would have gotten the announcement of the next Bond actor this year, but I guess they're not even bothering. I know I'm sounding like I hate the Bond franchise. Obviously, everybody that knows me knows it's the exact opposite. It's like rooting for your favorite sports team. Because you're so passionate about it, you're also first to critique them because you're rooting for them. You want to see them win. We all want to see this franchise thrive and continue. But again, it seems like they don't really feel like they're in any sort of hurry here. Now we can prepare for another two years of weekend Bond fans reading the tabloids like Well I've read on Facebook that Idris Elba is the next James Bond. <sighs> I want to be positive about this too. Hopefully because they're taking so much extra time, this leads to great creative choices with the direction they're gonna take. The reinvention of the character. 
There's a whole rabbit hole you can dig into speculating on what that even means, but essentially I feel a reinvention of the character is always somewhat the case with a new Bond actor. I just hope they just stay close to the source and the wishes of the actual fans. I don't think this reinvention needs to be that complicated. Most diehard Bond fans all want the same thing. A great classic Bond adventure, a suitable actor to play the part, and Bond films that we can all be proud of. All we can do now is have faith that Eon will make the right choices. These were just my quick two cents on the current news, or lack thereof. Please feel free to share your thoughts as well in the comments below. Know that I read all my comments on my videos, and I absolutely love the discussions. Please like and subscribe if you like, and if you want to go the extra step, have a look at my Patreon page for awesome perks. See you guys in the next video.